All right, everybody want to see why this has been a good week for me. Because I said on my video, it's been a good week. Show you why. Check out my new ride. Yes, sir. Jaguar. Fully loaded. Sweet as can be. Sweet as can be. And also on the inside, we got the nav system. We got the Alpine system. We got everything in there. Bluetooth. I've been talking, calling everybody I know today and saying, hey, I'm talking to you from the 405. And you talk about fast. That's the first time I ever had a, a, a eight cylinder. And I hit on the highway, it's a supercharged one. And, and I just fly. So Shelby, whenever you want it. Me and you on the highway, whenever you want it, Shelby. All right. All right, let me talk about the game now. All right, I made this video a while ago, but it was on the HD camera, and it's just too much of a headache, and it was taking too long, so I said, let me just say it quickly to you, because I got to be on DC Fanatics Podcast in one hour from where I'm doing Alpha, but 7 o'clock, I'll have to be on uh, well, 7 o'clock Pacific time, whatever. My points of the video, one, I said uh, it was impressive. If you thought, if you did not think this game was impressive, then you have overvalued this Cowboy team, period. It was the last, I hadn't seen that team play at that intensity level in a long, long, long time. And I loved it, and I loved every bit of it. Now, if we can bring the coaching and everything else up, because we won in spite of the coaches last night. We did. We won in spite. And there was one scene after Jason Garrett, Garrett made that horrible um, pass to uh, Marty B for, for a touchdown attempt with Romo sitting beside Garrett. And if we lost that game, if Steve Smith didn't melt down and mess up and call and um, – and, and T New took the intercepts and back, and they would have scored. That would have been the image that we'd have seen all week. So thank God, the players, the players have enough heart in them, and they came out after they heard those boos. When they heard the boos, they said, "No, not in this house, not at all." And they came out, and they were something to be excited about. And I was excited to see that. Now the other things, the things that you're probably talking about, the things that Steve Young said, and you can see that on DC Fanatic. Uh, blog or whatever that video but um the things that Steve Young said after the game it's true Carolina fans I'm sorry to say this but it looks like Del Arm is gone his arm I mean some passes he just can't make it if he just can't if he can't make certain passes teams are going to do what we did take your run away and double to Steve Smith and see what else you can do I mean Musin Muhammad come on it's not 2002 Musin is not supposed to be a start starting receiver yet now I mean he's probably serviceable yes but he's not supposed to be starting he's not a threat you need a threat on the other side of that so I'm really thinking Carolina might be in for a tough season the way they looked last night because we took no punches from them. the only punch we took was at the end of the at the end of the game but after that I mean we took no real punches I mean the holes we closed them up like that it was it was it was it was it was it was sad to see man I hope they get it together down there to have some kind of season because they got some good players I love Beast and I love uh, Steve Smith but both of those players are emotionally they melt melted down out there on the field and made dumb 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 things um what else did I say? Felix, I am so, ooh, Felix, my man, He he's the fastest running back I've ever seen around the corner. He's fast uh, that I've ever seen making movement, and he sets running, he sets uh, defensive backs up to where he's going one way, and as soon as the defense make, make the first initial move to that direction, he cuts it back the other way, and there's no way to stop that. They end up laying down and looking really silly, but he goes down way too easy, and he gets hurt a lot. And the, the going down easy, I think it's the way he runs. I think it goes against, you know, he doesn't make solid steps on the ground and reason to make moves really quickly or whatever. So it's easy to hit this those feet and knock them down really easy. And I think teams are going for that. And uh, the getting injured thing, I just don't know, man. He's got to, oh, gosh. And I think it was, man, DC was talking about if he just went out of bounds, he would have been okay probably. You know, in that one play. All right. Uh, like I said, I'll, we'll talk about everything on DC Fanatic Radio. If you don't get this video up quick enough and to, to see it, listen to it live, it will be archived. All right. I'll let you later. Peace.